I don't want to post this. I really, really don't want to post this one. Oscar, will you please just watch it? I'm not talking to you. So, today, Oscar walked in on something that looked bad. And it was bad. And, but it is not my fault. Even though it looks like it is. But now Oscar is really mad at me and won't talk to me. Or even listen to my side of the story, even though I have the entire thing on video. He won't watch it because he's in denial. I can't even blame him because it really sucks that this happened. It sucks. But uh, <clears throat> before he decides to post some scathing video about my supposed betrayal, I thought I'd clear my name. So, with that in mind, just watch. Hey, Em. Now that we're back to abiding by the rules again, it's back to boring around here. Oof, more boring than ever, really, since Oscar's always off with Will and you're not here to endure my one-sided banter. Very sad. Ugh. Ugh. And this stupid quiz thinks that I would be Sansa in Game of Thrones. Sansa? That's impossible. Oh, hey, Will. Uh, Oscar actually has an extra credit movie thing, so he's not here. Oh, right, I knew I was forgetting something. <sighs> uh, you can hang her out here if you want until he gets back. Awesome. Thanks. So, what are you working on? Oh, just looking over the edits for my book again. I've already sent them in, but I still continue to obsess. <sighs> well, you have no reason to worry. I'm sure agents will be lining up, waiting to represent you and your brilliance. <laughs> I'm hardly brilliant. <laughs> well, a fool thinks himself to be wise, and a wise man thinks himself to be a fool. Does that still leave me as a fool? <laughs> it's a compliment. <laughs> okay. Take it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, still, welcome. though, it's going to be hard to separate myself from the thousands of other hopefuls, you know, scribbling down their daydreams and whatnot. You've got nothing to worry about. Your writing is special. Last time I checked, you've only read a few chapters, sir. So... Well, yes, but that's enough to tell that it's honest. I mean, you don't need supernatural creatures or car chases. You take life as it is, and you make it beautiful. Beautiful's not exactly what I was going for for life as it is, but uh, I guess I'll take a compliment. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Underneath your <laughs> absolutely biting social commentary, it is absolutely lovely. I wouldn't even call it biting either. It's more like uh, playful social commentary, <laughs> and if you want biting, you should read Oscar's stuff. Well, the difference in yours and Oscar's writing is you as people through and through. What do you mean? Okay, well, Oscar, Oscar is like a lightning storm in a high-tech, high-rise city. Okay. Whereas you are like a summer's day. <laughs> but more lovely, more temperate. Are we still talking about my scathing wit? <laughs> <laughs> You're like this golden light, just so afraid of it going away, but tempting you to catch it. I didn't, I didn't realize I was such a temptress. 
Well, it's one thing to be tempted and another to fall. Uh, well, you better not be saying what I think you're saying. I'm in love with you, Jane. No. <laughs> no, you are not. This is a joke, right? Oscar, are you getting me back for all those things? <laughs> why would it it's be... not funny. Why would it be crazy for me to say that I'm in love with you? Because you like men? <laughs> <laughs> I like women too, Jane. Remember the spectrum? <laughs> you don't even know me. Yes, but I've read your writing. You know that that is the closest thing you can get to seeing in someone's soul. You are dating... Oscar. Well, so this can be our secret. It can be a hidden romance. No. You protest far, far too much, Jane. Do you want to live life alone? Afraid of experiencing the intensity that comes with letting your walls down for someone? Oh, I don't. It's just... Get out. Oscar? Oscar, listen to me. No. 